Welcome aboard the Azimut 60 Flybridge. This Stefano Reghini designed Italian yacht packs all kinds of sophisticated style and elegance that you normally see on a super yacht in just a 60 foot package. Azimut's been building boats for over 50 years, but they're relatively new to North America. So I'm pretty excited to show you this 60 footer today. Extraordinary Italian style, design, and innovation are some of the best ways to characterize Azimut's fleet, and the 60 Flybridge is no exception. At 59 feet 10 inches in length, 16 feet 7 inches wide, and drafting 4 feet 9 inches, it sits right in the middle of Azimut's impressive lineup, which ranges from 42 to 88 feet. With its distinctive vertical flat nose bow, sporty lines, and floor to ceiling windows, this is a vessel designed to let you get the absolute most out of your yachting experience. Carbon fiber construction throughout has allowed Azimut to increase space on board without adding extra weight, meaning top-notch performance and almost infinite potential for entertaining. Up here on the flybridge, it's incredibly spacious as well. They've divided it into three main parts. You've got the helm with the twin bolstered captain seats and a nice big sun lounger opposite. We've got a huge dinette with wraparound seating across from the fridge bar. And all the way aft is this gorgeous open air salon area with this nice home style sofa, the barbecue unit, and with the touch of a button, I can shield this right in with this retractable sunshade. That's more like it. The flybridge will likely be your favorite place to take the helm as the sight lines are endlessly unobstructed. Here we find a beautifully appointed dash with two large flush mount Raymarine screens on either side of a smaller one dedicated to engine data display. The wheel is elegant and throttle and joystick are ergonomically placed to port, allowing control of the dual 900 horsepower shaft drive Volvo D13s which power the craft. The electronic power steering on this 60 Fly is incredible. It really makes this 60-foot yacht feel like you're driving a sports car. What's cool is that the responsiveness of the helm and the steering effort can be adjusted according to the speed. So at slower speeds, you might turn the wheel 180 degrees, and the boat will turn about 20 degrees, whereas when you open up the throttle, you can set it so that spinning the wheel 180 degrees will only spin at about 10 or even 5 degrees. It really makes maneuvering this big boat simple for anybody, regardless of skill level. The 60 Flybridge boasts a top speed of 31 knots, although you'll find a better cruise around 26 knots and make more of its 740-gallon fuel capacity. That's helped by active trim control, which lifts the boat on plane quickly and optimizes hull resistance and speed at any load. When the weather turns, the view from the main helm is almost equally impressive behind a huge sweeping windshield. A pair of top quality Italian leather bucket seats sit side by side in front of the matching steering wheel, although throttle and joystick sit to starboard down here. If you ask me for entertaining, this galley up layout like we have here on the 60 Fly is the way to go. Just a single step down separates the galley and dinette from the main salon area. And with these floor to ceiling windows, with that nice little cutout in the bulwark, it really gives an open, airy feel in here. The galley to port features standard Miele appliances, including a wine cooler, full height refrigerator, oven and stove top, as well as the option for a dishwasher and a double sink. In the main dinette area to starboard are two large sofa style benches around an expanding table that can also drop the coffee table height to make the most of one of the best views on board. A step down into the main salon, we find a large leather sectional and ottoman across from a smaller settee and retractable LCD television. I keep being more and more impressed with the entertaining potential on this boat. You slide those glass doors open, and this aft cockpit connects to the main salon, making the main deck essentially one big entertaining space. What I really like is how the flybridge protects this aft cockpit, making it a great spot to sit around this marble table and enjoy some cocktails or maybe a nice dinner. And if you're parked in a busy anchorage or at a marina, more privacy is just a click away. It's a great spot to hang out after a long day in the sun. For convenience, another refrigerator with a small countertop is situated in the aft cockpit as well. Underneath, there are three big staterooms with three heads, so plenty of room for guests or grandkids on board. This master stateroom is a full beam beauty with tons of light from those big square windows, tons of headroom, and plenty of room to walk around with these floating cabinets. The master ensuite is expansive with a full-size shower sealed off by a glass door. 
Fully forward, the VIP stateroom features a Queen Island berth, plenty of storage space and a large hanging locker, and access to a large ensuite with full-size shower. Our third stateroom is well lit by a large window with a pair of single berths and a hanging locker. And the third head also has a large sink and its own shower. There's also a washer dryer combo tucked under the stairs. In keeping with the theme of entertaining, we've got a great big space out here on the foredeck with a couple of big couches, one of which converts into a massive sun lounger. And the other nice thing you notice out here is the sea keeper system. Now it's not that rough of a day, but even these waves coming in right now, you don't even feel it thanks to that gyroscope. It's a perfect system for hanging out on the hook. The 60 Fly has two different options for crew quarters here at the transom. There's a single berth, which would give you an extra storage compartment here, or a double berth. And if you're keen to captain this rig by yourself, that whole area becomes a storage compartment. Hidden inside these crew quarters is a fourth head. So if you're soaking wet coming off of this great big hydraulic swim platform, you don't have to trudge dripping through the main salon. If you ask me, this is a yacht you'll want to drive yourself and bring your friends and family along for the trip. Azimuth 60 Flybridge is an impressive ride through and through.